Hi. Yeah, the whole. driving and so I was bringing Ella to daycare and I had a detail in that area so I was bringing her to daycare which is obviously why I have this right here the um, the car seat but I was bringing Ella to daycare and I knew um, basically yesterday the van was shaking but I knew it wasn't anything like super super serious like the suspension or something like that i knew it was like the tires or something um i had one tire that was noticeably going flat and i added um air in it and also added air i added air all the way around so um this van calls for 80 psi in the back and 55 in the front so i mean that's why i put because that's on the door and they had like 20 and 30. um the tire on the driver's side is the on the passenger side is the one that was going flat and as we were driving, it was still shaking. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna go do my detail, which wasn't far from where Ella goes to daycare. And I was gonna go do my detail and go afterwards and um, go get the tires balanced and stuff and checked out. But obviously we didn't make it. Uh, we got about 17 minutes out from the house and then I hear a loud boom. And there goes the tire. Um, the tire, I had a blowout. So. I do have some damage to the uh, quarter panel, uh, damage to the tailpipe. I'll show you all the damage once I get the van towed. I did try to have it, try to have somebody come out to change the tire, but it's just, it's, it is no, they have construction. I can't get on that side. So I have to be on this side where the grass is at. So it sucks. And it's just not safe. Like people are not even trying to go to the other side of the uh, lane and stuff. And we, uh, and we on the, you know, the fast lane side, basically. So the best thing to do right now is to go ahead and get it towed. So I been sitting here for at least two hours. So I'm waiting on some provider to basically send a message saying they're on their way. So I've been here for probably about three hours just sitting here. Um, this whole week, this whole not even this whole week this whole month we are at what the almost the 15th i've been taking l's the whole month i'm telling y'all this is crazy they've been taking straight l's the whole goddamn month um first off um the detailing's been pretty slow and not because of like not nothing because of me it's really it's just stuff that's out of my control and it's with being mobile it's the rain the weather and all that stuff so i've been doing details but not as much as not like this month started off pretty um see I, that's why i like to be transparent because not every month is going to be a good month when you do a detail not every month is going to be a good month last month and a month before that those were great months um i was busy and i was doing like high priced details and stuff um, this month, not so much. Uh, this month has started off rough. It started off rough um, with the booking and everything. It's been raining a lot. So look at these guys. But it's been raining a whole bunch. So it's nothing that I could do to basically, um, it's nothing that I could do. I'm mobile, I, I won't work in the rain. And especially with doing a shampoo, you can't do that when it's raining. Um, even like right now, y'all, like it looks like it's about to rain. And then all next week is supposed to rain all next week. So that sucks for me being a mobile detailer because that's what I rely on. I rely on the weather to be 
all right are pretty good for me to go ahead and do somebody car at least one or two a day um so i've been taking an l on that i took an l on the grand prix by not checking the lug nut so i messed up the fender um so i gotta get that fixed and something else fixed on it and it's just my daughter's birthday just passed so we we spent a lot of money on her birthday um and that i'm not complaining about it at all that's my daughter i love her um and whatever she ever needs i'm gonna make sure she has and she deserved a really good birthday because she didn't have a good birthday the, the, her very first birthday she didn't really have a birthday party because of covid and all that stuff so we did something small uh, but this time this time around I, I bought a fun jump for her um, a nice two tier cake um, I got from her even though the person I was supposed to make it the first time um, pretty much bail out on me and I had to last minute find somebody to make her cake uh, but that's a different story for a different day um, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff I had to get decorations and stuff um, and all that stuff so um, I just been I just feel like I've been taking a lot of L's but at the same time you can't focus on like I want I'm showing y'all like this is a bad month for me like detailing wise now I have this going on so now uh, I gotta spend upwards to two to three hundred dollars two to four hundred dollars to buy tires uh, so today today I had two detail two details yeah so today I had two details. I had a full interior, uh, steam clean with a uh, carpet shampoo. And then I had a full, uh, um, just a regular basic and mini interior and a premium wash. So I, I'm officially, I'm officially gonna title this video Trapped in my van for six hours, y'all. It is 3.40. The nearest, or the, what happened is, okay, the guy came, I called the guy to come change the tire. He said he couldn't change it, it's not safe, all that stuff. Okay, understandable. I called again, it takes forever, it takes forever for at and to find a towing, uh, to find somebody to come tow you. So I don't know what I pay for the service for. I'm gonna put my phone. If they suck, then, so they finally find me a towing company. And they just pretty much get anybody. They finally find me somebody. These people come on the way. They wanted cash. I tell them I don't keep cash on me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mobile detailer business. I don't carry cash on me. Um, I don't carry cash in the van. I have a card. I can send you money through Zelle, Cash App, whatever. However you need the money. They told me, they said, can you go to an ATM? Where? Where? You want me to go on the field? You want me to go? You, where do you want me to go to an ATM? All right, y'all. So shout out to my fiance. You know, we argue and fight, but it is what it is. But she did bring me a charger, sweet tea, two drinks, and some chicken tenders to eat because I've been here since nine o'clock. Um, so shout out to her and that way my phone doesn't die because it's currently 316 so it's 316 right now <laughs> that's crazy bro so i've been here since nine o'clock uh, sitting here since nine so in two more hours it'll be five o'clock that that means i've been here for eight hours yeah i think it's eight hours i don't know if i'm wrong i'm wrong but i think that's about eight hours so that's crazy even though there's a lot of negatives i try not to think about the negatives i try to think about the positive of the situation and what i could do to make sure what i could do to make sure that this never happens again or if it does happen i'm more prepared obviously new tires um keeping a jack inside here Keep it a uh, jack inside here that can lift the van. Spare, make sure the spare tire is good. Um, whatever I could do to make sure that I'm good in case something like this happens, I'm gonna have to do it. The tailpipe, I'm gonna show y'all though, so keep watching. The tailpipe is bent. The quarter panel or whatever it's called back there is all bent. So 
it is, we got some damage and stuff, but hopefully, you know, see the positive in this, I mean, it sucks. Stuff has slowed down a little bit. It's gonna pick back up, I already know. Once all this rain and stuff is gone, it's gonna pick back up. So next, around next month, it'll start picking back up. Uh, I'm doing cars, but just not as much as I was the last couple of months. All right, so it is now 14 by the hour last since the last time I recorded something. So still waiting. Oops, scared myself. <laughs> still waiting. Um, from the tow company, still waiting. So, man. What I've learned so far is it slowed me down because I've been moving. I've been all over the place. I haven't been going to sleep till like three o'clock in the morning, working on stuff. I've been using, I haven't been using my time good. Um, and I just been very, I've been organized, but very disorganized when it comes to certain things um, like YouTube and stuff like that. And this like slowed me down and kind of humbled me. And I don't know if this is the universe way of telling me, hey man, you're doing a good job, but you need to you need to slow down a little bit. You need to take some time, take a breather. You need to take a day when you're not working, take a day off and relax. And just Alright y'all, so I'm up in here. <laughs> I'm actually watching some detail group. Um it's 527. So every time I call the tow company. They tack on another 30 minutes. So I've been waiting on the third tow company for two hours now. Traffic has gotten way worse. Uh, way heavier, I, I would say. So at this point, look, I've documented, why well, have documented this and I'm vlogging the inside the van for eight hours? I don't know. But I'm gonna make a video out of this and put it up. But look. I was just thinking I could look at all the negatives of this but I went ahead and I bought four more tires to go ahead and make sure this don't happen again now I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna have a jack in the truck I'm in the van I'm gonna make sure I have everything I need in case something like this happens um, I'm gonna look into getting like a better roadside plan or something but if I look at the positive So everything is gonna be okay. And what I've always noticed is when I have a series of things, it's, it's weird, but it's the truth. When I have a series of things that happen to me, it's like boom, 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 boom. Like a bunch of bad stuff happened. A lot of times I don't notice because I'm not focused on that. But a bunch of bad stuff happened and then something good happens. That one good thing offset everything else that happened. It's weird how that, how that works, but that's normally what happens. So normally when all like I have a lot of stuff coming and working against me, it normally means something else is good about to happen. And this is just preparing me for whatever else is about to happen. So this is just a lesson learned. And now I know next time, you know, I need to have those type of things in the van to be properly uh, equipped. But. That'll be all right. We have the So here we go. Literally, there's no tire left on this thing. Uh, we got some damage to the exhaust, as y'all can see. I can't see underneath there. This thing folded. But yeah, 
So we got four new tires on the way. So that's the plus side of things. Could have been worse. Just have to clean all this up.